let me tell you guys a spooky story. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, they get a lot of blood echoes, like you see on the top right of the screen. Um, you must have, you must uh, start like a new character, so you can't literally level up your pre-existing character. You must start all the way over. Just letting you know ahead of time. You have to have the Bloodborne uh, disc. You can't have it digital, and you can't have the Game of the Year disc either. It's just gotta be the normal Bloodborne disc. So what you do is you sign offline and uh, delete all of your uh, Bloodborne data if uh, you haven't already did that. So this is for people that like want it to have it, um, that want to kind of start fresh or just start a new character. They already beat the game. They just want to make a new character, a new build. Um, you you go make your character. Once uh, once you sign in offline, make sure you're you're stayed offline. You go into Bloodborne, and it should say uh, patch. It should just say version zero on it. There should be no updates to your game. It should just be you should just be offline. And after the game is in there, you just play it and then make your character. Make one. Make your first character. It doesn't matter what he looks like because you're not really using this guy. And um, what you do is you just uh, go ahead and um, die in the beginning and spawn back. Skip the tutorial thing. And then once you load back in, what you need to do is uh, go all the way until you get a pebble. And what you do is, when you get a pebble, when you get your first pebble, it's by the first uh, lantern. Just go down the stairs to your right, and it's just right there in front of you. You grab a pebble, come back here, and then what you do is you go uh, in here. Make sure everything is empty when you do it. So have it like everything empty. And then once everything's empty, make a second character. Get, uh, get you need you need some uh oh, so, <laughs> blood echoes. You need to get blood echoes. And then get like a thousand of those. Get um. And you need a blood uh, shard. I will show you exactly where to get those. I'll, I'll show you the beginning stuff later. But after after you get ready to do the glitch. You just need uh, one blood shard in here, or whatever thing you're trying to duplicate. Alright, so... Here, wait, let me go ahead and sell all these. So yeah, if you've seen, there was just one in there. What you do is... when you Once you have one in there, and you load your character, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you ahead of time what you're supposed to do, and then I'll go back and show you the beginning. But yeah, you should just have like one. But you wanna buy some of these fruity pebbles here, and look at that. So what you do is when you're doing the glitch. Uh, just leave one in there. This is this is like the Demon Souls glitch, by the way. So if you ever played Demon Souls in the past, I used to glitch on that game too as well. All right, so you take you get like 98 of them. You just sell 98. Then you acquire some delicious fruity pebbles. I'll show you that one more time so that way you get it right. Take only 98, leave one. And then sell it. And then buy these. And once you keep doing this, I'll show you how fast you could do it. You could do this really fast, like, watch. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you just keep doing that over and over, you will get some blood echoes. So you can speed up the video right now if you want, I can show you. See now I just hit over 3 million. Like that's pretty crazy to have that many. I'll go ahead and show you. Um, what to do. Alright, so. But yeah, I'm going to keep that there. Alright, now what you're supposed to do now. Welcome you want to level up. Obviously go here. Just like you would on Demon Souls. And just level up what you want. I would do these these three the most. Vanity is always my favorite. No matter if I'm playing like Paper Mario or any game. Like Vanity is like all the way. 75 it looks pretty good. Look at that. Farewell, good hunter. This is the most efficient, fast way to level up. Alright, I'll show you the beginning, what I was talking about. So what I'm going to do is... Let me make sure I got my things in here. Alright, I do. What we want to do is... When you go to your character... I'll show you the I'll show you the whole guide so you guys won't be confused. If you look at the bottom right right there, it says at version zero. That's that's what you want. <laughs> I just named them Demon Souls. That's like my favorite. I have never played Bloodborne. I'm not Bloodborne, I'm stupid. I have never played any of the Dark Souls uh franchise or any of the games. I've only played Demon Souls like back way back in the day and then I played Bloodborne. Alright, now I got my uh my cane. And hit people with it. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you where you need to go. Alright, so uh just start it like Oh wait, I think I chose the wrong area. No, I didn't. But then you could do a glitch that was sort of like this back in Demon Souls. I used to do it. If uh, if you ever have like a female character in Demon Souls, I got like female character clothing that I like never use, so. If you guys ever want some free clothing, I can give you some on there. Alright. So. This is where, this is like really far down. But this is like where you go right here. I got my cane. Anyways. You go here. And there will be a pebble. Right here. Can't miss it. And then what you do is, you just... This is your first character, by the way. This is the character. See, I just didn't even customize them that much. Uh, you just grab the pebble. You just go right on back. This is like on your first... This is your first character after you delete your game and all your stuff. You start all over. This is your first character. You just go walk on right up there. Grab the pebble. And come back, and that's it. Whoops. You want to make sure this is like completely empty. Mine's not right now, but just let's just pretend this is completely empty. You want to keep it that way. Then, after uh, after you do that, after your chest is completely empty. You want to load back in there. 
Actually, this is after you make your second character. But yeah, yeah. But anyways, what I just said, uh, just have your chest completely empty. That's all you need to know. Then this is your second character. I'll show you what to do with your second character. You can make them whatever you want to look like. You can make them do whatever you want. I think I chose the right one. But this is the fastest way you can level up though, on your character. Alright, so, you're back up here with your second character. The lighting looks a little bit darker. It's weird. Might actually need this torch. Alright. Torch sucks. Never mind. Anyways, off topic. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to go down here. You need to go over here now. Alright, I'm gonna quit goofing around. Let me get my weapons out. Fire, fire, fire. Alright, alright. Let me get my stuff real quick. Burn. Oh wait, I do have my weapon. Look at me. I'm gonna just kill this guy, there we go. Alright, anyways. What you want to do is, you want to go over here, make sure this guy's dead. And then you want to go over here, and then there's going to be a blood shard right here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Alright, but yeah, you grab the blood shard. And you want to make sure you have a thousand souls. Looks like I have a little bit over a thousand souls, so. Then you want to head right on back. I needed some ammo. So after you head back, wrong way. You now have over a thousand souls from killing guys. But you probably have to do more than that. Though. But after you have over a thousand, not souls, but thousand blood echo echoes, echoes, whatever, blood echoes, then and you have a blood shard. And you want to come, you want to uh, dally your way right back over here. Pretty easy, pretty fast. Not the hardest thing to do. And then once you load back in, what you want to do is you want to make sure this chest, um, this chest is like completely like empty. So you go to this chest, and it's just completely empty. That's that's the way you want to keep it. And what you do is you go to your other character really quick. This doesn't take that long to do. Once you get the glitch up and going, it's pretty easy and it's pretty fast to get blood I chose. Alright, now let's go to this character.
with the crap. All right. Now you just want to place one pebble in here. Let's say I just placed that. You want to place this one pebble here. That is it. You place one pebble in this chest. That's all you have to do. And you can just exit right on out. Go back to your character that's going to be your uh, main character. You know, it's funny, like, I remember on Demon Souls, it seemed like my main character was also in save slot, too. It's weird. Alright, let's get this giant thing off. It's a little distracting. Alright, so. Let's. So now you have one pebble on your other account. This chest is completely empty. What you do is you want to place one of these. Here, wait. So yeah, I place one. You want to place one blood shard in here. It can be blood anything, or those blood looking stone things. You just want to place one blood shard. In fact, I'll, I'll do it right here, wait, there we go. And once you place one blood shard, you just come right back over here and it's kind of like how I showed you in the beginning. You have only one blood shard in there. Then, once you just have one blood shard, what you do is, you just buy these pebbles. To buy as much as you can. And when you come back, your one blood shard is not going to be one blood shard anymore. It's going to look like this. It's going to have 99. Take, you leave one in there so you can keep uh, duping it. And you just keep doing that over and over. If uh, some reason it does not work, just reload your character and it should be able to work. Because um, sometimes Mon does something weird, but you can just load it back up and it'll be working. Don't worry, there's... Alright, you gotta look out for that, that door. That's the only thing that stops you, but just look how fast this is. You just go here, do this. Run down the stairs like a little sissy girl. Sell this. Go down here and buy this. And look how much you're making. You're not going to make this much with, uh, with just a blood shard. But what you do is you take your blood shard. And you get it enough and you level up enough. Uh, just enough where you feel comfortable. You feel confident. After that you just explore them. Look for more, better blood shards, stones, chunks, the uh, double edge, whatever you call the that other one. And that's all you do, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and if you want help on any other games, on leveling up, or just any glitch in general, I do glitches on here I do glitches on like LVP pretty much any game really so that's about it for this video thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos Taki out